Today we're going to continue our work with quadratic functions and today we're going to work with standard form. Now while we are not going to graph standard form, we are going to take a look at how we can convert from either factored or vertex form into standard form so you can see where the numbers are coming from. So we're going to start off with factored form and we have the problem y equals the quantity x minus 7 times the quantity x plus 2. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to distribute or FOIL. Good old FOIL method we have here. We are going to remember, ooh, let's go ahead and try that again. We have first, outer, inner, last. Now remember you can also use our box method that we used when we were doing this the first time. X minus 7, X plus 2. Remember, either way is the FOIL method. The box method is simply a different way of looking at it when you are FOILing. So if we go ahead and FOIL this out, x times x is x squared, and then x times 2 is plus 2x, negative 7 times x is minus 7x, and negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. Our next step then is going to be to combine like terms. I see here that I have a plus 2x minus 7x, and so I'm going to combine those. So I end up with y equals, I've got my y equals out front here, x squared minus 5x minus 14. And this y equals x squared minus 5x minus 14 is our standard form as we talked about when we were going through the foiling process. What I want you to do now is pause the video for a second. This one's a little bit more challenging because there is that nice little two out front. But I want you to see what you can do with it. And if you struggle, then hit play. If you get through it, then check your work. All right, I am going to start off by first as I said, distribute or FOIL. I'm going to distribute that 2 in first so we can take care of it. So then that means I'm going to have y equals 2x plus 8 times the quantity 3 minus x. Now if you notice, the second binomial has the minus x second, which is going to change things up just slightly when we're working on combining like terms, so be careful. So first we have 2x times 3, which is 6x. Notice we don't have our x squared term first. And then 2x minus times negative x is minus 2x squared. We'll have to reorganize when we go to standard form. Plus 8 times 3, which is plus 24. And plus 8 times negative x, which is minus 8x. So when we go to combine like terms, I see I've got a 6x and a minus 8x, which will give me... I'm going to first put my negative 2x squared down because I need that highest x term first. 6x minus 8x is negative 2x plus 24. So this will be my standard form. 